I just think it's weird that I get so much hate for doing cheat rows all the time, but no one ever gives people shit for doing push press when it's basically the same thing. People are always like, oh, you should do strict rows. You've lost, you know, you don't understand the purpose of croc rows if you're doing them cheat style. What the fuck does that even mean? The purpose of it. To make your back stronger, and that's what cheat rows do. That is the purpose of a croc row. Purpose of a push press can be, not always, but can be to overload the overhead press to make your strict press better. Same thing with cheat rows. Um, it's just fucking dumb that people don't understand how much better cheat rows are, really. You can move more weight, it makes it more of a full body movement, which is a good thing. Isolation isn't all that great most of the time, unless you're a bodybuilder, and I'm not a fucking bodybuilder, obviously. So, just fucking try it. I know fucking weak ass Alan Thrall probably says to do everything strict, 100% by the book. But fuck that guy. Fuck people who think you can't do cheat rows. Um, no, if you're an absolute beginner, you probably shouldn't be doing cheat rows, but other than that, fucking get some body English into it. So, that's it. It's fucking, ugh. Shit's annoying. Also, why do people get so offended by how I train, or how Eric Bugenhagen trains? It's, it's fascinating, really. I don't get pissed at people for doing strong lifts or starting strength. I don't, you know, even though they're super shitty programs, I don't go, oh, you're an idiot. You're kind of a fucking idiot if you run those programs. But, ah, uh, this is weird. Like, I get that we are probably bigger and stronger than most people, and we got that way doing different stuff, different than what Alan Thrall or Jason Blaha said you guys should be doing. But who gives a shit? <laughs> who gives a shit how we get strong? Ugh. God damn.